What's up Scrollgers, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to download Scrolls on your Android phone. So, as you know, last week when Scrolls came out, it was released on the Google Play Store, but it's only available for tablets. And people like me who don't have an Android tablet were a little disappointed, but I was able to get it working on my HTC One M8 Android phone. So as you can see, it's right here, the application's right there, and it works. I can play matches on it. Um, it's pretty awesome. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get that for yourself on this Samsung Galaxy S5. It's my younger sister's phone. She's kind enough to let me download scrolls onto it. So let's start the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is download both of these files. Uh, the one on the right is the .obb file. The other one on the left is the .apk file. Um, there will be links to both of these in the description below. So you go ahead and download those and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your phone and plug it into your computer using the same uh, USB cord that you used to charge it. So plug that end in and then take the other end and just plug that right in. So then your phone should uh, detect it and you're, got, you're gonna wanna unlock it because if you don't unlock it uh, your computer is not gonna be able to read the files. So once you do that, you're going to go back up to your computer and open the File Explorer. Um, I think this process is the same on uh, Mac. Comment below if anything's different. So once you do that, it might take a little bit, but you're going to wait for the phone to show up in Devices and Drives. And it should be coming up in a second. There it is. Samsung dash SM blah, 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 blah. Yours probably says something different if you're not using the exact same kind of phone I am using right now. But you're going to go ahead and double click on that to open it. Um, this might take a second. When you're navigating through your phone on your computer and the files, it, things just take a little bit of time. So just sit tight and it should, it should come up in about a minute or so or less. And here we go. So now you might not have this screen. It might just go directly into the phone if you don't have like a card. I think you could just put scrolls directly onto your phone. So I just, on my HTC One M8, I just uh, put it on the phone, so I think that's okay. So you're going to open that up, and now the first thing you might want to do is just make a new folder here, and you can just call it APK, and click Enter, and like I said, things get a little laggy when you're navigating on your phone on your computer, so just wait a second, and there we go. It's up there now, but I think it's going to move and get, get itself in alphabetical order in a second, there it goes. So now right in here we're just gonna take the APK file that we downloaded and drag that right into there. And it should be right in there. So once you have that in there, you're gonna go back towards your phone. Uh, turn it on. So you're gonna wanna change a setting on the phone. So go ahead and drag down the top, open up settings. You're going to scroll down until you get to the personal stuff, the thing that says personal on the top. There we go, we're in personal now, and then you're just going to go to security. Sorry, it's hard to see the screen. And then you're going to scroll down until you get to unknown sources, and you're going to check this box off, because we are obviously downloading an application from an unknown source right now, because we're not going to do it through the Google Play Store. So once you have that box checked off, you can go back towards your home screen. And now we actually have to use the Google Play Store. We're going to go right into there, and we're going to install this application, APK Manager. So just you can just search that. If you don't want to find it, just search APK Manager. And this is the one, this APK Manager. You don't need the Plus version. It's free. So just go ahead and download that and let that install. Alright, so I put APK Manager right there, just going to open it up, and this shows you all the, you should see all the apps on your on your phone right now, uh, that's because you're in the uninstall tab, which means you can click on APKs on your phone to uninstall, but we don't want to uninstall anything right now, we are installing scrolls, so you're just going to click on the install button, and now you'll see, you'll, you'll see com.mojang.scrolls, that would not be there if we didn't drag the APK file a second ago up here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on Com Mojang Scrolls, 
and we're going to click on install. If we didn't check off that box we just did a second ago, then it would give you like a warning here and you wouldn't be able to go further. So just click install and Scrolls is officially installing on your device. On your technically non-compatible device. And nope, I have to accept that. It's a little accept box. And there it is. It is installed. So we're just going to go done. We're going to add the application. Scrolls right there. So just drag that right there. And you can go into it right now if you want. But it's not usable yet. If you try to log in, it won't actually let you log in. And you can tell it's not usable yet because even if you raise the volume, um, you still won't hear the music. That's a good way to tell if you didn't finish all the steps yet. So you can't go much further than that. Now you're going to want to unplug your phone and plug it back in. So we're going to go ahead and just rip that out. And then we're going to put it back in. I think you have to do this because it didn't work for me when I don't do that. So now that it's back in, do the same thing, unlock it. And now we're going to reopen that file system right here. We're going to wait for it to load. And it's coming up right there. So now we're just going to open it up and go into phone and now you're gonna instead of m messing with the apk stuff we're gonna open up the android folder and you see data and obb we're gonna open up obb and now you see right here it says com.mojang scrolls if we didn't unplug it and plug it back in for some reason it doesn't show this yet so that's why we uh unplugged it and plugged it back in so you're just gonna want to drag the obb file right into there so let that paste itself in and that is basically it you can close out you can rip your phone out of the computer so let's see if we have a working version of scrolls let's just open it up and we hear the music that means it is indeed working so let me just show you guys you can actually log in and stuff looks like it's working log in and it worked. So now you have scrolls on your Android phone. So even if you have it on uh, the PC already, it's still nice to have this as a backup in case, you know, you disconnect from a match and need to finish your turn or something like that. You can always just join on here. And everything's working. You can play matches. I've tried it and everything. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you and I hope you got scrolls working on your incompatible device. So again, uh, the warning I said before, the text is very small. Like you can barely see, you can barely read that. I mean, you can click on it in Deck Builder to see it bigger. But if you're a new player and you don't know what all the scrolls do, you might have some trouble because you won't, you won't be able to read everything just on such a small screen. So I don't really advise doing this unless you're like a hardened veteran who who knows who knows scrolls inside and out like myself don't forget i have daily scrolls videos on this channel and thanks for watching